hurt you for God's will for me. Hello and welcome to the podcast, Love, Prayers, and Healing, coming your way from Pastor Frank. And I thank you for tuning in. I just I want to give a shout out to my producer, Paul, who tweaks it <laughs> and <laughs> makes it right. And uh, just all the other people who are listening, encouraging me. I thank you for the emails I'm getting. I got one today just as I came to do this taping and uh, just saying, Pastor Frank, keep them coming. They're powerful. And I said, that means a lot to me. Thank you. I, I love doing it, but I love getting the testimonies. So today I want to talk to you a little bit. These are things that are important to me. They're like, I would call mini teachings or nuggets. And and I'm trying to kind of find out what God wants me to do with that and share that with you. But God has been dealing with me about purity and the importance of purity. And he really wants us to work this out in our life. He not that it's legalism, you know, but sanctification is a process that takes place over time, and God wants us to be holy and set apart because he's holy. And if we look at holy as something normal or good, uh, we don't shy away from it. And that's what he's been doing in my life. He's been showing me that I, he makes me want to be pure. And I want to read a scripture to you, and then I've got some thoughts that I want to share with you. And this is from uh, 2 Timothy chapter number 2, verse verses 20 and 21, and this is what it says. He says right here, he says, uh, but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared for every good work. Now, he wants us to really, in a sense, purify ourselves. We're to purge ourselves. Um, some people don't like that. They want God to do all the purging. You know, take it away, Lord, take it away. <laughs> and all he's saying is, okay, stop, you know, stop doing that. Admit it and quit it. But, um, you know, people fall back into things, and yeah, there, I've had challenges myself. And so this is not about condemnation at all. This is about a desire to be clean before God and pure and holy and, and just ready for any good work that he wants to do. I love that, le- prepared for every good work, and we should be ready. And I'm always preparing for the next level because my life has been made up of times and seasons, and I've gone through a lot of uh, different things, a lot of wonderful, wonderful things, though. It's been a wonderful life. Um, and so there's always a need to be preparing for the next level. And that is uh, this constant purification, and that's spending time with God and praying in the Spirit and reading the Word. We're cleansed through the washing of the water of the Word of God, and of course, we're cleansed with the blood of Jesus. And I encourage you daily to weed your garden and to, to daily won't be washed by the Lord. Now, I want to share an example with you. <laughs> and I was really, I said, Lord, are you, I, am I really allowed to share this example? Uh, because I want to really hit home to you about purity, because God has really done that with me. And I, I kind of like it, though, you know, uh, it's it's the way of holiness, if you will. And it says, without holiness, no one's going to see God. So there is a real emphasis in the, in the Bible about holiness. And, and a lot of times people shy away from it or they turn it into a carnal thing about, you know, um, lipstick and outward things. And it's, it comes from the inside out. And if you're holy in the inside, it'll show up on the outside. But let me share my example with you, and I think it's going to speak to you. But there was a movie... Oh, a few years back, called The Help. And it's a great movie. We really liked it. And it was a, you know, a history um, time period uh, in the 60s and during the civil rights era and uh, the treatment of uh, African Americans in the South and, you know, really the problem uh, with that. And this one character in in the uh, uh, movie uh, is upset with uh, the woman she's working for, the white woman. And so she makes a pie. And, oh, boy, they're bragging on her pie. But she put a little bit of uh, fecal matter uh, into the pie. (laughs) I recommend you watch the movie, even for just that one part. And then at a later time, she reveals to her what she did after she ate the pie. And the woman is all gagging, and it's gross, and she hates that. But do you understand how you could be 99% pure? But if you got 1% of fecal matter in you or operating through you, 
in your relationships with other people, it can spoil everything. And I know that it sounds like as if it's so hard to, to be pure, but, you know, pure gold is very valuable. And sometimes we go through a fire or tried process for the impurities to be washed away from us. It's a constant purification. Personally, I don't think we ever really arrive. I think we're sanctified, we're being sanctified, and eventually we'll be completely sanctified. But I believe God wants our heart to want to be pure before him, to, to worship him in the beauty of holiness, it says in Psalm 29. And that has always been my desire. I want to worship him in the beauty of holiness. And I want to encourage you to worship the Lord with a pure heart. And, 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 and oh, I'm telling you, it, it just increases your joy and your happiness, and it turns to be an abundant, abundant life as you walk this out. Amen? I hope you got something out of that. I sure would like to hear from you. If you got anything out of that, let me know. You can write me at frankjulian5 at gmail.com. And, of course, I'm offering some products uh, like the movie, the Fawn movie, for any donation to Fawn. Uh, and you can write me at po uh, Post Office Box 394, Ellen Park, Michigan, 48101. And if you would like one of my books, I'm selling them for $5 each, which is a real deal. One in the Ten Commandments, one that the movie was made out of, and one my autobiography. And you can write to that same post office box. Those checks would be made out to me. Your donation to Fawn, of course, for the movie would be made out to Fawn. And that was post office box 394, Allen Park, Michigan, 48101. Post office box 394, Allen Park, Michigan, 48101. And I just want to thank you for tuning in. And I just want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, purify your people purify me. I want to be even more pure. And I, want, I pray for all of my children to be taught of the Lord. And great shall be the peace of my children. Let them be pure, spirit, soul, and body, an offering, a living sacrifice to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Tune in next week. Tell a friend about the program.